Okay, today we are talking about patching a pothole in concrete. So here's the pothole in question. First off, you want to barricade the area with bollards or orange cones. Get all your supplies ready ahead of time. And I'm simply going to start by cleaning out the pothole with a stiff wire brush, getting all the dust and dirt and any loose chips of concrete out of there. Make sure you wear your PPE, gloves, safety glasses. If it's really dusty, wear a respirator. I'm also using a, just a chip brush to get all the fine dust out of the pothole. And there's a nice clean pothole. This is a product I'll be using today, $20 at Lowe's. It is a fast setting cement patch for rapid repairs. Uh, it has a high strength of 5,000 PSI, open to foot traffic in four hours and vehicle traffic in 24 hours. Um, it sets in 20 minutes. So you do have to mix it quickly and work quickly. So again, make sure you have all your tools and supplies on hand ahead of time before you start mixing this. And the way I mixed it, I got a five gallon bucket, mixed this powder with a little bit of water at a time until I got the consistency that I wanted. But first, I applied this concrete bonding adhesive to the pothole and I wetted the surrounding concrete with some plain water. So I had a five gallon bucket of plain water and a five gallon bucket for mixing the cement patch mixture in. And while that concrete bonding adhesive is still wet, you go ahead and pour in your concrete patch mix and using a magnesium float or a trowel here that you see, I'm going to go ahead and slowly push and smooth that concrete mixture into the pothole and just slowly but surely work it back and forth across the entire length of the pothole until I get it nice and smooth and even and I'm happy with it. But you do want to make sure you mix enough to fill the entire pothole. You'd rather mix a little bit too much than not enough. <laughs> And that bonding adhesive, obviously, as the name implies, will help the concrete patch bond to the existing old concrete. Woo! And there's a finished product. I even used my trowel to try to mimic the expansion joint just to help it blend in a little bit better. Wow. I hope this information helps you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.